Hi, this is George and you're watching my editing channel. And here I was minding my own business and started using the cloning tool. And I kind of thought of this. But first, when you want to import an actual image to Procreate, do not open a new file. Just open the image in your browser, in your photos browser, this thing, and then share it procreate that's all you need to do and the image is gonna be in procreate its own size now i think i already have procreate open open cool and in my gallery there is the so the thing you want to have is the clone tool just click on it clone kind of enlarge the picture because you don't need that big of an area and um, try to get a closer part of the skin do you see this size try to kind of get the size of the the spot that you want to remove and i say that's that's about it okay cool now we got that one now let's put close our circle to this one Okay, we got this one. Uh, oh, that's too much. Come on. Okay, maybe like that. Yep. Okay, cool. And then just start doing this. Until you get... Ooh, that was bad. No... What the f is happening? I'm still not exactly sure why this is happening, but basically you just have to restart the clone tool. Just click away, click on any tools, and then click back to the clone tool, and it should be fine again. Maybe it gets too much sample or something. Okay, that part, I'd say that part is fine. Maybe, maybe I can go at this tiny bit i'm not sure if it's a freckle actually you don't want to remove freckles unless it's like a specific uh, need that you need to remove the freckles but usually you should keep stuff that will not disappear from the skin because it's weird not to have it it's important that you kind of have to be in one line and around the same size with the spot that you want to remove. It's better if you're next to it. You just need to pay attention to the to the brightness of the skin or, or the darkness. Because sometimes you're going to use the clone tool in shadowy areas. And I'd say the more you enlarge the picture, the better. Okay, that's fine. If you ever worked with Photoshop, you know about the clone tool and you know about the ability of the, the, the actual tool. You can do a lot of good or a lot of damage with it. So you need to make this smaller here. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna choose that size. Yep. Cool. This is going well. Now this is gonna be interesting. I have to kind of tackle it from two sides. Now this is already looking way better. I personally have nothing against blemishes and acne, it's just part of your skin. But don't really take my word on this thing because I've never suffered from them. So, I, I mean, honestly, you can hate me for that or whatever you want. Uh, believe me, there's, there's enough problems that I had. Kind of need to pay attention to not make the... Like the, the characteristic of the nose disappear.
I think I can see a little bit of hair. So let's make that disappear too. I don't think she needs it. Not like that. Maybe like from under. Is it doing the thing again? It's probably doing the thing again. Okay. Restart it. Yeah, it, it's... Stop. Stop. Okay, so now we have removed the tiny red spots. Uh, we can actually take a look at the bigger red discolorization on the skin and we can try to make those disappear. But first we need to duplicate this layer because this is already good enough. And then just make the bottom layers disappear. So we save this moment in our editing. And mostly we're actually gonna use a little bit bigger clone tool and go at areas that are seemingly cleaner. Careful because when you're gonna do this, that's when you're gonna make things disappear or extra things appear. Because keep in mind, you are using an airbrush, which means certain parts are gonna have a big feathering around them so we're basically kind of airbrushing this picture now but still keeping certain detail now that's that's something i don't want to have There are main areas that you can just airbrush. It doesn't matter. And there are, there are some parts on, on a face that you don't want to airbrush. Like that. That was not good. It could have less, but not, not so much less. So you need a little bit of skin detail. All right, that looks kind of okay. Now we have this. So we started here and then we went into this and now we are here and we kind of need to make this into a lower opacity. Okay. And then with our new empty layer, this is gonna be weird, but believe me, this is like really cool extra functions. So you get your airbrush as you do. And then you start color selecting from the picture. So this area is, is that color. I kind of draw a face. Don't worry that everything is going to disappear. We're going to bring it back later. I'm just going to use kind of like this area, like that size. Do you see that? Okay, cool. Um, now I'm going to select the color from this area and cover this area with a different color. I'm going to select the color from this area. I'm going to cover this area with another different color. Color from here, cover it. Color from here. She has a nose like Santa Claus. Color from here. It's really important that you go into certain areas with the, with the actual color that's there. It's, I mean, also it's kind of important to choose a type of color that's kind of dominant at the area. And uh, I need to delete this part here. 
because I kind of went over her face. You don't want to have that. Uh, there is more here. And there might be some here. Okay, cool. Now after you get this face plate, you could leave it like that, but I mean, you don't want to. You want to change the opacity to... Overlay is not bad, but you need to you need to lower it if you use overlay, but soft light or hard light sometimes also works. I'm not sure which one should I use, because this is quite a bright picture. Not these. Luminosity, yes. Luminosity is always a good choice. Cool. So I'm gonna put these into a group and I'll show you what happened. From this, we went to this. And we still have details from the skin. She still looks like a human. She just lost the acne that, or, or spots or whatever you wanna make disappear that wouldn't be there anyways. I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope I could help you with this. And yes, this is done in Procreate. And also, yes, you you always had this function and this was actually used in Photoshop like years ago. I just kind of forgot it because Photoshop has their spot removing thing now. And uh, most of the camera phones and cameras have uh, skin correction and all those things. Well, you're welcome, I guess. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and press the like button. Uh, it would be really helpful for me. And uh, check out my other videos. I'm doing some Procreate stuff. I like to make these videos because it's fun. I started doing some picture editing in Procreate. As you can see, this is one of the first ones. Yeah, this is like a very basic, uh, really, really fast, just a few steps type of thing that you can do. It will not take any longer than maybe like, I don't know, a few minutes to a half an hour at max with a picture. But like a half an hour is going to give you a, just a very detailed, really nice looking picture. If you just have a few minutes, just take the spots out and maybe put on a, a filter or something. There is no shame in it. If the picture works, it's fine. And you can check out my other channel. I'm, I'm uploading weird and funny stuff on there. Well, have a good day or night. Okay, bye.